government can never stop Galemse in this Ghana at all, at all. I have a good, I have plenty of money in my pocket. So I don't mind Koku. Look, I'm now cutting it off. You see, it is my own body fair property. Nobody can stop me. To stop cutting my own Koku tree. Are you built, you plant it for me. What he said might sound so funny to most of you. But believe me, whatever he said is in the minds of so many cocoa farmers in Ghana and Ivory Coast, including myself. Mm. Milo ne nyama nyama ndo koko no wariye but aban ne mbo ahen enti o meyi sika sam no wo fo mti koko no dodo ay agrek fu ye sia wo to make chain de kite one eka e yian sika o de nyan ye nyi sika no nto aduru ni nti o mama o koko no nto me so koko aduma so di sika no wariye but ye ye wi aban ne mo do to koko no man no nto de dam enti o mama ye sika sam no wo fo ma koko aduma nto me ye ni ye asma pere kan de spanish cup bebre bebre se ma me nyan wo koko no ho can you believe that being a cocoa farmer does not make you rich, but rather poor? I have seen so many farmers that have been in the cocoa industry for so many years and they can't even build a home. I've done cocoa farm for close to 40 years, but I can't boast of having 4,000 cities. 15 years in a minute, we'll see 15 years? Yes. Until 15 years, cocoa, they know each other by now. I told them, I talk about you, and Cement one bag, a decoration to be seen. Not here, you could call a woman. So many cocoa farmers in Ghana are cutting down their cocoa trees just to do illegal mining that we popularly call galamse so that they can have money in their pockets. Illegal mining continues to thrive in some cocoa growing areas due to what many consider to be lack of enforcement. Here at Konsu, it is common to see these miners digging and scavenging for gold when you walk through several cocoa farms. And the entire country is paying for what? The effect of Galamse, which is destroying all our water bodies. I was recently going to Takradi and the shot from above, you could see that all our water bodies looks like a chocolate drink. But that is not a chocolate drink, but rather the effect of illegal mining in Ghana. Every cocoa farm we work on is being sold by the owner. We don't use force to take anyone's farmland. We just do everything possible to convince the owner to sell the farmland by giving him more money. If we realize there is gold there, we sometimes go the extra mile to get the land by diverting a water body to destroy the farm. Wow. This is deeper than I thought, man. I'm so sorry for ranting. I feel like I need to be an ambassador for cocoa farmers because I believe that they suffer and they deserve better. And you know what? Let's continue the vlog and let's go to the farm. What's up, beautiful people? It's your favorite village boy, Wadamaya, right here. Back uh, with my mom and currently I'm actually going to farm. And uh, we had to come and buy fuel. And guess what? The guy is a subscriber. Yo, Charlie, can yeah, you tell him yeah. something? Charlie, if you are looking for quality and affordable fuel, come to Zen. Hey! Look at Zen anywhere you, you find yourself. <laughs> They, they, they will make you ambassador for Zeno. Yeah. I didn't pay you for this though. Later we will pay. <laughs> so I'm heading to my father's cocoa farm uh, right now uh, with my senior brother. And also I've got Koku right here with me. Oh, Koku is on the other side. And uh, we had to stop by to buy fuel. Uh, you all know that my father got a 50 acres cocoa farm. So I'm actually going to go there. I'm not going to the farm. I'm, not, I'm going to the farm, but I'm not going to take so long. Just going to check it out, what's going on in there for a few hours, and I'll head back to Accra. You tell Ghana something. Yo, yo, Ghana, Charlie, you know, see, you know, right now, the economy makes up small. But Charlie, before I just them, 
and we say no with time everything will be okay uh, I, did, I did trust everybody Rudimaya, yeah. Yeah, man, Charlie, yeah. everything will be fine All right, man. Whenever you're walking to the farm, you always walk through a pathway, right? But when you're walking in a pathway, make sure your eyes are on the ground because you come across a bunch of ants crossing the road and they always cross the road together. So if you mistakenly step in this, believe me or not, these people can kill you because it's a bunch of ants and they will all come on top of you and they will start biting you. So you got to be very careful so that you easily cross this. things that I really enjoy whenever I'm going to the farm is the sound that you hear on your way to the farm. I don't know if you guys can keep quiet and just listen. Whoa. These are not beds. It's like frogs. I don't know where the sounds are coming from, but it's so therapeutic. Yeah, you can still hear sounds of beds, chirping beds. It's like a combination of different animals and they are all crying. I don't know whether they are rejoicing. Whoa. It's so therapeutic, man. In case you know how to swim, you can also use this road. But why don't you use this road? <laughs> okay. It's not that deep, yeah? But I remember back in the days, my dad would tell us to take this water and drink it in the farm, man. I don't think I'm going to do this now, man. Koku, you want to try that? Oh, but it's... I think the best workout. I think the full bottle of it. Oh, hmm. This is the best workout. I'll show you one. Look at this man. He's checking his phones whether he's going to have network. I'm sorry, bro. That's the last thing he's going to have in here. <laughs> so anytime you come to the farm, know that your phone will not work. I mean, your network providers would never work. Because here, you're just surrounded by nature. You just enjoy, work hard in the farm, and just go back home. So, this is where our farm actually start. This is where the whole cocoa farm start. I remember when we started this farm, this is the first place that we planted the cocoa seedling. So it's not seedling, the yeah, seedling, yeah. It was just right here. So we say these are the grandparents of everyone in there. We've already done the first harvest. And the first time that we did the harvest, that was like a month ago. And um, I think uh, my brother brought the money recently saying that it co um, we had over 20 bucks, which is somewhere around 15,000 Ghana City. That's the money that we got. And to my surprise, we came here again, and it's like, I think we need a new harvest. I don't know what to do because, whoa, it's like we need to, it's like we need to harvest this again. It looks so yellowish, I mean so ripe. This is what a ripe cocoa looks like. I don't know if you guys, don't you think it's so beautiful? Ha! Oh my God, this is so beautiful. So you see that we come to another place, right? So this is the upper part of the land which um, I was also part of those people who planted this. So the whole farm is like more of a 50 acres of cocoa farm, but currently we are using 30 uh, acres. So 30 acres of, uh, I mean 30 acres portion is where we're planting the, um, the cocoa. And some of the part, some of the 50, 50 uh, acres, we planted it but the cocoa never survived because of the nature of the soil. So I, I just want to let you know that cocoa doesn't survive everywhere. And I believe that the cocoa farmers, 
that's most of the job, man. Like, it's tedious. I think, let me just keep on showing around, and I'll have to come and rant because I'm here. And I have to speak on behalf of Cocoa Farmers. Can you believe that on paper, the government was supposed to provide pesticide, uh, fungicide, and then even we decide for cocoa farmers. Nancho aban adan ka aban no oye omo a drum edi a cocoa na de no onfe onfe drum number. Na aban aban le drum no ola ba onse ni in kofa tray no watch a do one bottle. Miso cocoa fu ten ten kasi mintu mukedi aban le chima muku konsi the man mi yeme drum mi 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 kumadrum. Nancho wala le to oye. Na mi kumadrum. But with the price of the cocoa. It's them that determines the price. Guess how much they sell the pesticide, uh, the pesticides and the fungicide right now? It's over 600 Ghana city per box. A box is 600 Ghana city. And how much is one bag of cocoa? Cocoa, no, one bag or two? One bag, eight million. Eight million. Mm. You will be shocked if I tell you that so many cocoa farmers have never tasted chocolate before. You know why? Oh, I'm not going to catch you there. I buy more than you know. Cocoa, me, yeah. And to one boy, you could go and feel happy that but to my cocoa, you know, fast one or that. I buy it to me because a coffee had the idea you are buying to my hair apart from cocoa. We go to my bank and do my pen and mutton, as I say, but I buy cocoa, I buy it the young fast ones on other place in the brain. They can't afford to use their hard earned money to go and buy chocolate because they are not part of the 100 billion chocolate industry. Like I said earlier, they are making 2%. There's something wrong with you people. You have to start empowering your own farmers. You see, they do all the hard work, but at the end of the day, they get peanuts. I, I, I know what I'm saying because I'm a cocoa farmer myself. You invest so much in here, and at the end of the day, you get peanuts. We sold 20 bags of cocoa just last week, and we made just 15,000 Ghana cities. Walking in here makes me miss my dad, man, because as I keep on climbing this hill, it just brought back memories of me following my dad. My dad was like, follow me. Let's go up there. We need to weed that side. Then you'll be following your dad like a little chart. Now I'm just coming and the only thing that is following me is a camera. Life has really changed, man. Wow. Imagine feeding the world with chocolate. By the end of the day, I am just making 5% of what chocolate makes. Isn't that crazy? Like... I'm sorry, like this video, I think I need to run throughout. How can it be illegal for me to sell my hard earned money? It's illegal. While big chocolate companies rake in billions a year, many cocoa farmers live in poverty, earning just $2 a day. Why should a cocoa farmer be poor? You need to start empowering your own people. Let me give you guys an idea if you don't have it. 70% of our cocoa have been exported since 15th century to where we are right now. And Ghanaian entrepreneurs like Michael have struggled to open chocolate factories in their home country. We are trying to decolonize chocolate. At this time around, we are saying that it can be done right here. I think we need to do better as a country to start adding value to our produce because it was so sad knowing that 70% of our cocoa produce are being exported to Europe and North America. People are building their economies out of our sweat. Like, cocoa is a lot of work. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, very sugary. So 
it's the same cocoa beans that is being fermented and then yeah. dried and then so this will go through the fermentation stage for like five days mm -hmm. and you bring them to uh, what do you call it to drying where you they stay up in the sun for like extra maximum extra five days and it's ready ready for the, for the government <laughs> Shout out to all cocoa farmers. It's a lot of work for you to see this. What you're seeing right now, most of you, oh wow, oh wow. You definitely have no idea the struggles behind us. Joseph collects the pods and takes them to the breaking ground. Here, workers crack them open and remove the beans by hand. Joseph uses the leftover pods as compost under his trees. Your boy, we are. Your set, ah, ah, bye. Now, your boot. Joseph then dries the beans for another week. So we're in the final stage, you know. Here we are. After how many days now? I cut on cocoa. Six days. Six days. Ogu, I part six days. Dabi. Oba. Oje. You go share. Baya one week. One week. You have to share this video. Things must be done. Things must change. The cocoa industry is a hundred billion dollar industry. If Ivory Coast and Ghana put their heads together and start saying that we are no longer exporting cocoa, but rather if you really want to make chocolate, why not bring your companies in here? And this is how you empower your own people. iPhone was manufactured and assembled in where? In the US. Now when you go to China, check your iPhone, you see that your iPhones are assembled in what? In China. We can also do it too. So that we can also build our what? Our industry. I think my president is a big fan of Made in Ghana. He brought an initiative of One District, One Factory, which I think is a great idea. As I have stated on occasion, Ghana no longer wants to be dependent on the production and export of raw materials, including cocoa beans. We intend to process more and more of our cocoa in our country with the aim of producing more chocolate ourselves because we believe that there can be no future prosperity for the Ghanaian people in the short, medium or long term if we continue to maintain economic structures that are dependent on the production and export of raw materials. And I believe that if we start investing more in factories in the country, I think we can even have uh, many chocolate factories in Ghana. I know it's so expensive to set up factories like this in Ghana, but Kwame Nkrumah once said, a black man is capable of managing his own affairs. Say a processi kuko no ewo Ghana ha. Ye be nya musika a e be baaban no nsem. Nti ye be ma yakwan be ye yi. Let ye electricity nsem be ye yi. Hospital and schools. If we can change our policies and start exporting just 30% and utilize the 70% in our countries, this country alone can build on cocoa. We can do it. Ivory Coast is our neighbor. I can actually walk to Ivory Coast because I'm from Takradi. So why not us join hands together to build a greater Africa? I'm a big fan of Made in Africa goods. And anytime I see my people suffering, I speak from the heart. You see, the world need us. We don't need the world, man. Because even if the world decide that they don't want Ghana and Ivory Coast chocolate, they won't be able to produce chocolate. Because I remember when I was in China, I tasted uh, a chocolate from Korea, which is called Ghana. So which means that Ghana and Ivory Coast produce what? A better cocoa. Do you know what this one is? Oh, I think I've already been showing you guys the cocoa. And I'm asking you if you guys know what this is. So this is the cocoa pot. So the only thing, let me show you guys, man. Come closer. So your chocolate comes from here. Let me show you how you get your chocolate. So first of all, we have to crack this pot. Yes. 
Ah. You see, you crack this pot. This can be eaten, but you cannot swallow the beans. What is in here is the cocoa beans. Mm. So sugary, man. But this, the beans in there becomes your cocoa. So I want to ask in the comment section if you guys can help me. I, I want to know if we can have a value addition to this cocoa pot because the beans have been taken out already so these things are now turned to waste but I want to know in the comment section because I really want to I mean add value to this raw materials I think my father did this and you don't expect me to continue where my father left without adding any value so let me know what do you think this can be used for leave that in the comment section yeah but let me continue to enjoy my cocoa man uh, you guys want to taste it but it's so sweet though. Oh my goodness. I wish I can send this all to all my subscribers. Just one cocoa pot to each and everyone. I can feed all the million subscribers because I know that if I should count the number of single cocoa on the tree, I think I'll get 5.5 million cocoa. So I think I need 5.5 million subscribers then. So I'll be able to feed you all with cocoa fruit, man. So this is the fruit. This is how it looks like. Cocoa. You want to test? Do you know that it's illegal to sell your cocoa to any to somebody who is not a government? Yes, that's why I know. You know? Mm -hmm. And you think it's the right thing to do? No. If it's right, then they have to really increase the money you give to them. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If at least a bank goes for 3000 4000 they will be happy. Then they know they are also making some funds because they're putting a lot. They are working putting all they have in, spending a lot. You know, to own a farm is capital intensive. Thank you. Right. So I expect the government to increase whatever monies. If you can even triple the funds, that would be good. We recently saw that you've increased it by 200 Ghana cities. Well, His Excellency, you did so well, but we will plead with you if you can increase it times two or three for them. Look for At least for them to have a relief. These days, I mean, it's, things are not easy. The dollar keeps shooting. Yes. The pound keeps shooting up. Thank you. And then salaries have not been increased. Mm. But... 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 So that's Daniel, the farm manager of the entire 50 acres cocoa farm. He makes sure that everything goes on here smoothly. So, I mean, if you're in the farm, you need to get some fresh fruit and enjoy. So we're going for coconut. And this my brother right here loves coconut, but he can never climb coconut. <laughs> oh God, you can climb the coconut tree today now. Nah. Coco, you don't feel climb. I will, I will. Ah. I will, I will. <laughs> Yeah, Daniel is gonna climb the cocoa. Hey, <laughs> if it's the cocoa, Daniel is gonna climb the coconut tree. We need to pluck some cocoa. Coconut, man. I'm using coconut and cocoa too much there. So first of all, he needs to plug one for you to taste because don't forget that when it comes to coconut, they grow in bunch, right? The fruit grows in bunch. So you need to taste one to see if it's the, it's, if it's more eatable because this one can be used for oil. So he doesn't need to bring this one down. So now he has to try another one. So good. Ah, Koku. Coconut is nice. It tastes so good, man. But it it also tastes like oil. Isn't it? Yep. Yeah, because you can use it for coconut. Because you can use this for coconut oil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
so refreshing. <laughs> The next coconut water in Ghana, made by a Ghanaian, is awake. <laughs> awake mineral water. Yes. That's the best. That's bass right there, man. Yes. So, mission impossible. Why am I saying mission impossible? We're supposed to uh, plug a bunch of uh, coconut fruit right there, but we couldn't because that coconut is too ripe. We need to use that for, um, what do you call it? Uh, oil so we're going to the next coconut tree to go check it out if we'll be able to get i mean some fresh and soft you know soft one we, if you are if you are eating coconut you need to eat very soft coconut not the hard coconut the hard coconut needs to produce oil but damn man this looks so good look at me in the midst of cocoa plant man you those days you see set things in drawing book they just use your crayon the yellowish one to draw and color the cocoa to green and yellow nature but today here i am i'm feeling it live and colored man the whole place cheese look at that oh my goodness we need to harvest this once again man. it's actually cocoa season we've already harvested once and uh, we are here to I think we need to harvest one more time. Finally, got a soft coconut. A very suitable one for eating. But like I said, this farm got everything. And whenever you come in here, you still got fresh pineapple for you to take home. I think I need to do a retreat in this farm. If you're tired of the city, book to visit Watermeyer's farm, $1,000 a day when you come there's no place for you to sleep you only come and see cocoa pineapple coconut what else do you want to see come on we got a lot of things and i'll show you the reason why you need to pay a thousand dollars to spend a day in this farm and besides when you come in here you can take photos with the cocoa and say that i went to watermeyer's cocoa farm <laughs> that, would be, that would be a good business it would even be more than how much the the the, the, the government is paying my people My height is short people. Okay, plug it. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Couldn't cut this. <laughs> All right. So you know why you need to pay that thousand dollars? Because even in this farm, when you come in here, you eat fresh popo. This contains vitamin C, Q, F, and D. You need to pay for that thousand dollars. Come for a good retreat in my father's cocoa farm. So when you come to the farm, you might be plenty of people in the farm. But the farm is big, so you don't know where someone is. You don't have to call his name. Maya! No. So you do like, Ooh! and he'll respond. But also saying, uh -huh. so which means that he's over there. Then I'll just follow the voice and go and meet him. You know what he's doing? Wait a minute, just let me show you guys what he's doing, man. This is going to be a surprise, by the way. Bring it out. You got, you got some already? Bring it out. Fabra, Fabra Bonte. Ha! That's a surprise. This is very dangerous. Oh, Don't joke with my hands, bro. That's a crap, by the way. Then, in, in, in Ghana, we. Bruh, what's some? Bruh, 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 bruh. I'm on the video. What's up? 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 What's up?
Because you eat crab too. Yeah, this is sweet, man. This is the best meat yeah, in the whole world, apart from kako. Yeah, apart from kako. Yeah. yeah. Let's remove this one. <laughs> remove the this, shell. Ah, there's this sweetness thing. Eh? It's white in color. Exactly. Wow. So, he was literally hunting for crabs, yeah? So, crabs dig their own holes, and this is where they stay. So, in order for him to hunt this one, he has to put his hand in there to get it. That was what was happening. But to be honest, if you don't take care and this thing grabs your finger, bro, bro, that's how I'm like, nah, what's the other? No, what kind of than? Oh, cut your cry, no, John. So, literally, that's how it is. So, I'm just going to try. Whoa, whoa. Because of camera. So, literally, this is what Maya is talking about. So, yeah. Ha! Yeah, but let me know if you eat crabs. Ah! 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 You see how he shouted? That is so real. What are you eating again? No, 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 no. Let me try it again. Let me see. Cheese. Okay. Okay. So basically, it's, it's harmless. So probably you have to trigger something. Okay. Yeah. Ah! Oh, okay. <laughs> Woo! He hurt you. Ah. He said harmless. Can never be harmless. This thing can never be harmless, but we eat it regardless. <laughs> The crab does not worship the right god. <laughs> the crab definitely does not worship the right god. I don't know what happened. My brother changed his mind that, you know what, let me put the crab back. He put the crab back halfway. He's like, nah, I've changed my mind. I need to go and eat it. The crab doesn't worship the right god, to be honest. How do you know? It's running with a barn quotation. I'm not going to I'm not going to be a good person. I'm not going to be a good person. I'm not going Your whole hand entered. What's your name? What's your name? Eh, Ebo. Ebo. What's your name? What's your name? Poa. Untun. Bye. Untun. Yeah, to me for say. Oppa say what's your name? But my first na action. Wow. Okay, we have three. This one prepare a full soup, you know. Like this more. <laughs> this more than Simon. <laughs> This world is so natural. Natural, this is organic, you know. Mm -hmm. Very organic. Do you eat crabs? I eat Leave it as a comment and let me know. Okay. You eat crabs, I know you eat crabs. I eat everything. You even <laughs> eat snakes, this guy. Yeah, I even eat snakes. That's Same all. Here. <laughs> but I eat, eat everything. everything. Once it's eatable, why not? It's all right. The reason why I came to this farm is because of these lemons, man. Do you know that lemons are good for weight loss? You put it in hot water, warm water in the morning, you drink it and in the evening. So because of that, I have to come to this farm. Man. Like I told you, this farm got everything. Oh. These are lemons. So there's this big one, but shortest. Short people cannot think. Oh my god. Ah, okay. Yeah. When you go to the farm and then you don't have a sack, you use your clothes as a sack. So now you see, I use my clothes to carry all the lemon. Which one? Which one? 
The reason why I came to the farm, I wanted to buy this in Accra. I just asked, how much is this? They told me, three, like this. They're selling it for five cities. Do you guys want to buy? Because if I wanted to buy there, I would have spent 50 cities. Because see, three, five cities, 10 cities already. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Now I can give you two as what, uh, what's it called? Uh, it's a bonus or a plus. So where we are right now, in our native language, we call it Asoye. And Asoye, more like a resting place. Whenever you work so hard in the farm, this is the exact place that you need to rest. Whenever you work in the farm and you decide not to go, you sleep here for a night. I've spent a night here before. Same place also serves as a drying place for the cocoa. So you see this right here? This is where you dry your cocoa. And it takes about two weeks for it to be ready for the market. So you saw the video that I did initially. I divided the cocoa uh, pod into two, got the beans out. You put the beans in the farm for some time and then you bring it here to dry it out. So it's a lot of process, but at the end of the day, with all this process, you sell your cocoa for peanuts, of which I think it doesn't make sense. <music> And now you need to know that when you go to the farm, since you are the youngest among the whole family, you have to be the one to carry. I told the elder brothers need to carry this first. They won't. So they're gonna give you they carry on your head and then you follow your senior brothers. That's how it's supposed to be. But balance, you know the balance because I've been doing this. <laughs> everything for the young one and I had to make sure that I carry all of them in. So, so. 